Now, I am, I'm elated of the energy that the young people are bringing um, to this issue. Um, but I think it's also important for all of us to understand each other's stories and to understand how these things have impacted us, the choices that we've made and how we work with our children um, and, and why we are um, maybe show up in the world as we do and it's not so quickly to, to make judgments about each other. I was a little apprehensive to, to, to do this interview. You know, after I talked to my family, um, because what I don't want to do is I don't want to further divide. Um, it's important to me that our community heals. Here I go. <laughs> that, that the community heals, but we can't heal if we don't know each other's stories. Okay, all right. Well, I started um, in Ridge Spring, Mineta. So um, I graduated from Ridge Spring, Mineta High School um, way back in um, 1987. Um, an absolutely beautiful community. Um, everybody knew each other. Um, you know, we looked out for each other. Everyone loved each other. However, because we are talking about um, race and race relations, um, I recall during that time that we were advised, and many times it wasn't necessarily um, said openly, but we just knew that black people stay in certain places and white people in other areas. Um, I didn't understand it, but, but I thought this is just the way it is. Um, and of course, growing up in a small town and, and my parents not having the, the opportunity or the afford the opportunity for me to attend college, um, I looked for an opportunity to put myself through college. So um, I joined the United States Armed for Forces. Um, I went into the National Guard and then from the National Guard I was commissioned as an officer and then I did seven years with the um, inactive ready reserve. So that completely changed in my opinion my trajectory as it related to um, race relations, um, economics, um, and just seeing the world more holistically. Um, to have those brothers and sisters who were all in uniform together and we all sharing um, for the same purpose and that's of course to defend our country, um, to honor the Constitution, completely changed the views of what I thought um, was what America was completely, but I knew that there was more. So my husband and I, we married in 1996 and um, we started our family um, in 1998. Our first son was born in 1998. And I'd like to share just some context in terms of um, how did we get to that place as far as a family. The both we knew that we wanted to be parents um, as we you know, started the dating process, and of course me becoming his his wife. We knew that, but we also knew that how important it was for us to um, to make sure that when that time came, that our children would be prepared um, emotionally, mentally, educational wise, we, we needed that assurance. So what we started um, in terms of as a parent for us, the talk started in utero for me. Um, meaning um, I would pray over our children um, even you know as they were in the womb and, and ask that God's, um, how can I say this, his, his will is done in their lives, whatever that is. Um, I knew at some point that um, the ugly head of racism would be would be raised at some point, um, knowing that I would be, you know, I, listen, I'm a I'm a black woman in in the South, and and there were some things that I had experienced myself. So I needed that that assurance that my husband and I would would be um, first those parents who wanted to educate our kids about what it meant to be black in America. Um, but more than that. We wanted to educate them about who they are as a person. So for me, as the resiliency, I, I think about resiliency when I um, think about this role of a parent, um, because I know what I experienced um, as a, a black child. And um, we won't even talk about colorism, <laughs> um, but I, I know what I experienced. And I didn't want my children, not that I would be able to protect them from all of that, but I needed them to have a strong sense of self. Um, to know how important it was for when those things happen, the negative things happen, and not everything around racism, that they would have that strong sense of self. We started the talk, um, and it was not necessarily the talk um, where 
we were shoving it down their throats to, to expect that this is what's going to happen. But it, what we started with our children as far as knowing that at some point, um, just given the history um, of America and given the history of racism, that those questions would start to be asked very soon. And we needed to be the first educators of what that meant to be black um, in America or in South Carolina. And I won't call names or bring out any particular um, organization, um, but it was very early in my oldest son's life that um, a, a professional um, pointed out um, the difference in his skin color and some of the students of, of other races. And um, he came home and started inquiring. So he, they wouldn't notice and um, they just saw themselves as just being another student. So we would, um, we talked about what that meant. Um, I knew what it meant um, and I knew the intentions behind the differences that that particular person was trying to point out. Um, but we counteracted that with saying that, you know, different is not bad. Um, different is just different. So instead of getting angry in some of those instances that they found themselves in, we tried to help them learn how to manage those emotions. Um, we've been very clear about um, if you're angry, if you're upset, if you feel bitter or resentment or whatever those negative emotions are, to be careful not to make decisions in those split second um, times, especially when emotions are running high. Because typically you're not making the best decisions at that time. So those are the, some of the things, but um, as they got older, the talk that we had um, is unfortunate, um, that we had to, especially when they started driving, the, you know, back thinking about, you know, again, the talk when it, as it relates to police brutality, um, because this, this is where we found ourselves. And let me be clear about this. It is in my opinion that police brutality and racism, um, it's unfortunate that in America, but we know that these things do exist. And I realize that there are others who may or may not feel the way that I do, but the beauty of, of having an opinion is that we all have one. Um, and I know that those things exist. So we had to prepare our children by ensuring that they were not making any moves if they were stopped by a policeman, um, that would be misunderstood and or that would put them in danger. So the talk for us included, once they started driving, um, is to make sure that your hands are visible at all times, um, to make sure that one of the things that my husband and I did is we bought these um, organizers that go over your sun visor in the vehicle that they would not have to reach for their registration of the vehicle and or their insurance. Now some may think that we are overreacting and, and that's okay if that's the way you feel. But this is what we have had to do to help us make sure our children are safe when they're out and we're not with them. So also what we've been very careful about is teaching our children to be respectful of all people not just the police or not just of those in authority, um, but for their friends, um, those who may or may not consider themselves as friends, just everyday common courtesy of the next person. That has been extremely important to us. So again, back to what we talked about, making sure those hands are visible, that you're not reaching, that you uh, make sure your windows are down, make sure that you are in a well-lit area when you pull over. Um, be respectful to the policeman, um, regardless of what disposition that policeman has, um, and answer those questions. And um, of course, I'm hoping that you will come home safe. Um, I will not be telling you the truth if that is something, if I would tell you if that's something that I don't concern myself with. Gosh, when I talk about it, I still get teary-eyed that I concern myself with. Um, because I remember my brother who was killed in a car accident um, earlier in life, I remember the story of him being chased by a Ku Klux Klansman. Um, yes, that, that is a part of my history. Um, so I want to be sure that when we're in the South that 
my children are safe, not just my children, but all children are safe. So these are, we've attended workshops through the um, NAACP, which is you know another one of the positive organizations that our children have been involved in very early on. Um, those workshops help them to understand what they need to do in order to stay safe if you know approached by a policeman. Um, as far as being black in America or the talk, um, you know, we've talked about the importance of being well educated. Um, we've talked about the importance of not only you being educated, but those individuals who are around you. Making sure if, it, if that's what they want, you all work together. It's always about reaching back and helping someone else. That has been so important to us is in terms of the talk. For us, that is a part of, important for us. Um, choosing your friends wisely. Uh, I know, again, being in law enforcement early on in my career with the Department of Juvenile Justice, the hand of one is the hand of all. So that means if you just happen to be in the car with someone who may make a bad decision, a poor judgment call, every one of you will likely face the consequence for the choice of that one person. So those are some of the things that we, not only then, but even now, we have the talk <laughs> um, with our um, young men and even our daughter as well. Um, you know, in the midst of all of the things that we view as um, negative, it, is, it can be exhausting, it's frustrating, it's sad. Um, I've shed so many tears, you know, just watching, um, just hearing, even the commentary around um, what we're seeing going on in our country. Um, but for me, I am elated um, to know that Regardless and despite all of that, we all have managed to come through it. And yet again, we will rise. 